Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over the updated 8th anniversary event details so you can see what's going on here for the pay tickets as well as the free one that we are going to be getting. So let's go ahead and see as well as Meltan. It is going to be able to be shiny when you do open up those mystery boxes. Now it is going to be every two days, I do believe, instead of every three days. And we're going to be able to open that up. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the details here. So it's going to be going down June 28th at 10 a.m. local time until July 3rd at 8 p.m. local time. Bonuses are going to be increased chance to become lucky friends, increased chance to get a lucky Pokemon in trades. These are pretty good things here. Friendship levels will increase faster than normal through opening up gifts, trading Pokemon, battling together in raids, gyms, and or trading. Everything that's going to require an interaction or at least trigger an interaction with another person that is going to increase uh, your levels even faster. Then we do have the Gimme Ghoul. If you do throw down that golden lure, you do have a chance to find eight to 88 coins from that single spin or more, maybe is what they say. All right, well, I wonder what those chances are for more. All right, in addition, the above, on the eighth anniversary party, you will have the special bonuses on certain days. So from July 8th at 10 a.m. until July 29th at 11.59 p.m. local time, you're gonna have half egg distance, so, okay, so if you need to hatch some more eggs, you know, we got that current egg event going down. And then from July 30th at 12 a.m. until July 1st at 11.59 p.m. local time, you're going to get times 2 XP for catching Pokemon. And then from July 2nd at 12 a.m. until July 3rd at 8 p.m. local time, you're going to get times 2 Stardust for catching Pokemon. And that is going to be the most important one. So from July 2nd at 12 a.m. until July 3rd, 8 p.m. local time, get that times two starters for catching Pokemon. Featured Pokemon is going to be the Party Hat Grimer, which can be shiny, so you can get a shiny one of those as well. Uh, so good luck on that. And of course, Meltan is going to be shiny for you when you do open up these Meltan boxes. Now, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure it can be shiny too from the tasks that we're going to get. You're going to be able to encounter quite a few too. So I'm pretty sure that, yeah, they'll be okay there to get be able to be shiny. Stumbling over my words here and then in the five star raids you are going to see Ho-Oh So that's gonna be pretty nice and then you're also gonna be seeing Mega Tyranitar if you need some energy there and then you're gonna have your various different tasks to collect from the Pokestops And it is just gonna be the featured starter Pokemon that we just went over that are gonna be spawning from different times So you can hunt whatever ones you're trying to get there. All right now moving it on to the eighth anniversary free tasks Let's see what we have here so first page is going to be earn eight hearts with your buddy for an encounter with Bulbasaur with the hat and it can be shiny. Catch 88 po Pokemon for a Charmander with a hat. Spin eight different Pokestops or gyms for Squirtle with the hat. Earn 8,888 XP for a Wurmple with a hat. Make 88 curve throws for a Wobbuffet. Earn 8,888 Stardust for a Nidorino and then evolve a Pokemon for Eradicate. Rewards are going to be 8,888 Stardust, Poke Pikachu with the Cake Hat, and then XP resembling the Stardust. Next page is going to be simply claiming the rewards and they're all gonna be Meltan. So I'm pretty sure that these can potentially be shiny for you as well. So pretty nice. You're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, different encounters with it so there you go right out the gate you'll be able to get those immediately and that is going to be for free next up we do have the two dollar ticket or equivalent in your area of course and that is going to be this right here there is only going to be one page so it is going to be earn eight hearts with your buddy for a lucky egg catch 88 pokemon for a regular incubator spin eight different pokestops or gyms for a rocket radar earn 8888 xp for a regular battle pass or should i say remote <laughs> ah, for a regular pass okay raid pass or an 88 make 88 curve throws for a pop and my gosh and he goes i need some milk all right and then earn earn 8888 stardust for a star piece and then evolve a pokemon for an incense and then your rewards at the bottom are going to be a super incubator a meltan and then more xp that's obviously worth the price for $2. I mean, the, the rocket radar itself is that much. So yeah, definitely worth it if you're uh, looking to get some pretty good items out of that. It does need to be completed by July 3rd at 8 p.m. local time. So make sure you take note of that and complete it before then. 
All right, now the Whisper in the Woods. Now this is gonna lead you up into an encounter with Shiny Celebi. Now if you've done this already, or at least the other one that we did have to encounter the Shiny Celebi, you're not gonna be able to purchase this, but there is still good news because you're gonna get extra bonuses for actually purchasing that in the past and or even this one right here. So let's go ahead and get into that. So $5, right? And for the people that purchased it in the past as well as now, you're also gonna get times two instant duration, uh, times two daily instant duration, and then times two lucky egg duration as well. So not bad, okay, I suppose, there you go. And there it is. We were gonna go over the first page, whatever happened to that, oh well. It's something like uh, catch a ton of Pokemon. There was no time gated thing. Um, earn a gold medal for Johto. It's not nothing crazy. I'll put it up on screen here for you to see, okay? I don't know why it's not on my notes here. And then you're gonna see various different outfit items for your avatar if you're looking to purchase any of those. So as far as this event is concerned, it's actually looking pretty good, okay? We, let's be honest here. Yeah, you know, I get it. They're throwing a lot of these pay tickets at us, which is kind of like, oh, for the eight anniversary, here, have fun. And then you can buy this and buy this and buy this and buy this. You don't need it to. $5 for shiny Celebi plus the items that you're gonna be getting. Eh, come on now, guys. I mean, I understand throwing all these different paid tickets is not the best uh, thing for us, I guess, whatever, but you know, don't have to purchase them and they are kind of giving you, you know, your money worth when it comes down to these. So, and you're also getting a free one too. No, Niantic is not paying me to say that, okay? I'm just trying to look at it from, a, you know, a, an even playing field here. Just not just bashing them all the time, right? So again, you don't have to purchase them though. You're not gonna be missing out on anything. The bonuses are pretty good for this event. So you should be happy there, right? Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, wanna support me, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. And I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. Obey your master.